Oh my gosh. Rocks, why don't you weigh more? Hey guys, before we jump into this, I just wanted to record a quick note and say all of this was shot about three-ish weeks ago. Uh, the last clip is like hours before my wife goes into labor to give birth to my son. Uh, so all of this previous stuff is just from a little bit ago, but there was some good stuff in here. So I wanted to push it out. And, and even though it's like really delayed, it's I, I thought that there was some fun moments. So I wanted to share all of it anyway. And then we're going to fast forward next week to this past Monday. So there's going to be like a block of like three weeks that we're not daily vlog just because we're trying to, you know, stay focused on getting James, uh, my baby and Rachel kind of keep them healthy, keep them moving and kind of getting back into the flow of things. So I hope that's okay. Uh, but we'll come back to it with uh, stuff from February really, really soon. So get looking forward to that and we'll see you guys through the video. Little tail wig. Little, little tail wig. <laughs> He's a good boy. <laughs> Thank you for the tail wags. You look funny from here. Boop. I have been trying to get this for four years. 100,000 subscribers. Some 100,000 subscribers, just how far you've come. If each of your subscribers were a light year, then we could take you from one side of the Milky Way to the other. In that spirit, YouTube is proud to present you with the Silver Creator Award, which just one of many that we hope will follow in the future. We can't wait to see what you do next. Signed, Susan Wood I can't say her name, but she's the CEO of YouTube. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nerk.tv We're passing 100,000 subscribers <laughs> Look at that It's so shiny Wow Yes, yes! Thank you guys so much for uh, joining in this like this whole adventure, right? It's you know, I've been working on this for four or five years, bringing people in and trying to kind of build a community around drones and drone racing and stuff. And I'm really, really glad that you guys have stuck around from from that point. Uh, you know, yourself into the next 100,000, next 900,000, till the next uh, reward. But gosh, it's incredible. Why are you holding it up still? You can just put it on the ground. Also, why do you keep backing up? You have to share it. <laughs> oh, starting to fall down. Kyla's gonna knock it off. Kyla wants in on this. <laughs> He's just looking at her face. Uh, oh. Kira, what's all over your face? <laughs> Kira, you made a mess. Get her. Oh, get her. Yeah, okay. She's got it all over her. Right here. Here's a good boy, yeah. Here's like, no, it's mine. It's my treat. You're being so helpful. Here's like, save me. I'm not a snack. <laughs> okay, we got another box in the mail. This one's gonna be significantly less exciting. But hey, it's a box. Oh, these are heavy. Way heavier than I thought. Okay, so these are batteries for the Panasonic BGH-1. Oh, they're dense. Uh, so that I can use the camera without having to have it plugged into a drone. So like right now, I actually don't have it. I didn't have get any batteries for it. So now I can actually plug one in and use it handheld if I wanted to or something like that. Or just use it to change settings. So just seemed like a good idea to have a hold of a an actual battery for this thing and not just rely on having it plugged into the drum. Should be pretty convenient. And then the other thing in this box is a charger for those type of batteries. Nothing exciting. Just a little USB-C charger. Cool! Let's play with the camera. 
All right, so I got it all mounted up on my tripod. And then you can see just how awesome this lens looks on the camera. Nice and narrow field. And I'm still shooting this at like f4. So if we crank this all the way to f1.1, and then we got to make it a little bit darker. Oh, yeah. Like, it's so narrow of a field of view that you can't even really have anything in focus. But like, how cool does everything else look? And then if I look up at like those lights up on the, up above, they just, <laughs> they're totally... Totally gone. Looks so cool. And I just have that Racer 4 in the background for some like light and bokeh. But yeah, I think this looks better closer to like once you can kind of start to see the difference in the LEDs on the Racer 4, maybe like there, a little brighter. And then we bring up the ISO to match, something like that. And now I can get these nice, smooth, tilting bokeh shots of this drone. Just pause it right there, let it roll for a second, and then rotate off. Easy. Actually here, this would look really good if we centered it between the green and the orange because then we kind of have that tungsten and green on each side. So let's reposition this. Okay, I flipped the screen around so we can see it. And we're going to walk over to the drone and get it in the right spot. Maybe a little further back. There we go. Now let's try this again. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Do we look professional now or what? Now maybe, for example, that we get some like little tight close-up shots to kind of highlight some of those features. It's always really easy to just kind of unlock the tripod, just give it a nice little pan. That always looks pretty good. Or we leave it like that, take a light, and just go Super dramatic. Then the dog gets in the way. It's perfect. Get even closer. Make it look even more dramatic. Brab. Brab. Hi, Laura. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, no. Off. <laughs> You're not making this easy. So, yeah, anyway, that's how you film a B roll sequence with the Panasonic BGH1. <laughs> I don't know why I got so caught up on that, but hey, it's fun. It's fun to play with cameras, especially this crazy looking lens. Ding. Actually, I did forget about one thing. Uh, the uh, red Komodo fake thing is uh, underweight. I need to put some weight in it. And I tried to find as much stuff around the house as I could that would just add weight. But I couldn't find anything that would work. So I'm like kind of just like looking around, trying to find some gravel <laughs> without looking too suspect. So here we go. I need to add another like 600 grams to this thing. So I brought my scale out into the field. So this is what we do for science. Oh my gosh. Rocks, why don't you weigh more? I'm not going to fit all of this. All right, well, we'll get close. <laughs> Just uh, hanging out in my car in a parking lot, waiting for batteries to charge. It's, uh, it's chilly out here, but cranking up the seat heater, putting on my Aurora jacket, and uh, running the heater in here. Not so bad, uh, but I just heard that thing beep, so I'm gonna get back out and fly. So I was out flying to test out the full weight of a Komodo with a lens strapped onto my Sicario. And I don't have a Komodo, so I just have my GoPro strapped on top of the fake Komodo dummy weight. And so that's just the perspective that you're seeing right now. That You can see the lens of the Komodo sticking out the bottom there as well as the props of the Sicario. But how awesome does this monstrosity, like two kilograms worth of quad fly with that amount of weight? Just a giant puppy. I can't, get, I can't get anything done. Huh? It's like this for about 10 15 minutes every time I come. It's great. He looks scary. He's just a big fur ball. He's fun. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>
I want him to feel how heavy this beast is as it was being flown with the 8 inch and the, the 6 inch props. So here it is, Winston. What do you think about that? This is the first time you're picking it up, yeah? Yeah, no. So I've, I've picked this up before with the VH1 on it, but not with the Komodo dummy weight on there. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Yeah, there's that's that's chunky boy. Dang. Yeah, but, that's uh, yeah, that's definitely heavier. But having seen the footage, would you believe that it's actually that heavy? No. You fly this thing like a freaking five inch. It's funny. Like I laugh every time I look at one of these videos you sent me. That's gonna be cool. That's heavy. Fly all right with that much weight on there? It flies freaking amazing. Yeah. No, I can't wait to see the video. I want to see how the eight inch props do. I love me some HQ stuff, so I'm glad that they're pushing with the cinelift stuff or not cinelift, pushing with the cinelifter stuff. Okay, Winston, what do you think about this? <laughs> My dummy weight. <laughs> are, those, are those rocks from your backyard? <laughs> well, no, I stole them from a park. <laughs> I don't, probably should have taken them back. Don't tell Indiana <laughs> Metro Park House. Well, it was just from a church. They'll turn the other cheek. We're good. <laughs> well, and then look at this one. I mean, there's an aluminum bracket on there for the Komodo. That... Yep. Because the Komodo doesn't have good uh, quarter 20 mounting points on the side. These quad standard labs straps are really tough. <laughs> they do a good job of keeping your stuff together. <laughs> You're welcome, Troy. Seriously? <laughs> 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 oh, they're sharp, too. <laughs> This way, if it gets run over by a car, there's hell to pay. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. Okay, so I've got my screen here that connects up to the uh, BGH-1. So we can see what the camera is seeing and make sure that everything is looking good. It's still pretty hot. Focus, okay, that looks good. Pull that. Okay, so we're doing a quick test shot on the, uh, I never turned on the black box. You did something on the computer. You changed the baud rate. I don't know if you turned it on. I didn't do the right thing though. Yeah, I changed the rate. I didn't change the, well, hopefully sure. we'll get it. Either way, we'll fly it. Got my new, <laughs> although like the rest of me is gonna be cold because I didn't bring a jacket. But I am excited to see. We'll see how it flies with these new props. Because uh, we've got some quad blades up top. Then we've got the properly cut blades down below. Um, and then we've got the BJH1, which I haven't actually flown on here yet. So, should be sick. Okay, here we go. It's gonna be loud. Oh, we didn't test those props. No, none of them are. None of them. <laughs> I knew they'd be tight, but I thought they'd clearance. Sorry, I should test that out of the house. Never mind. We tried. This is what happens when we rush. See, oh. things don't always work out as planned. <laughs> so the problem is we just put some brand new props on here, but we didn't check to make sure that they actually spun, which is not normally a problem, but when you've got big ducts, quack quack. And that was the last dad joke I ever made, not as a dad. So yeah, see you guys next week for the start of february for the daily vlog and hope you are loving every second of it thanks very much for hanging out and stay flying